Less than 35, add, subtract, multiply, divide, decimal numbers. If you want to use the symbols, you can. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, decimal numbers. So we'll begin with adding and subtracting. One thing you have to remember when you have decimal numbers and you're adding and subtracting, you always want to line up the decimals. So for adding and subtracting, always line up decimals. This is not true for multiplying or dividing, it's just for adding and subtracting. So this is what it would look like, a couple of examples, 2 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 35 hundredths. So we want to add up the place values. So you're allowed to put in the terminating um, terminal zeros. So you could put a zero there if you want. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. And the decimal needs to come straight down. And here's an example with subtracting 36 and 45 hundredths minus 4 and 912 thousandths. So in this problem, we're going to need that terminating zero. So when we borrow from the 5, make it a 4, we can <coughs> make this 10 minus 2, which is 8, and 4 minus 1 is 3. We'll have to borrow from this 6, make it a 5, <coughs> and 14 minus 9 is 5, 5 minus 4 is 1, 3 minus 0 is 3, bring down the decimal. So 31 and 538 thousandths. So that's just, we just basically are adding and subtracting just like we always do. It's just when we're done, we bring the decimal down in the same spot. When we are multiplying, there's a couple of um, steps that you want to do. The first one is you multiply like normal. Just ignore the decimal points. Just how you would normally divide two numbers, I mean multiply two numbers, we just multiply them. Then number two, you need to count how many place values are to the right of the decimal. Um, you count them in the factors. Factors are the two numbers that are being multiplied. So let's put that in here somewhere. Count how many places values are to the right of the decimal in each factor. And you'll count them together. So if one factor has two decimal places and the other one has one decimal place, then you would count it as three. And on your answer, you're going to make sure that there's three decimal places. So you're going to move the decimal in your product, I added that in, over that many places. So whatever you got for number two. So I'm going to show you an example. Let's say we wanted to do three tenths times two tenths times one tenth. We multiply just like normal. 3 times 2 times 1. Now I'm going to set it up with the decimals here. 3 times 2 is 6. Count up the place values. We have 1, 2. The decimal on 6 is right at the end, and we just move it over 2 places. Put a decimal there. So 3 tenths times 2 tenths is the same thing as 6 hundredths. And if you think of them like fractions, you can kind of see that 3 tenths 
times two tenths would be six hundredths. So then we take our six hundredths and times it by one tenth. Notice that I don't have to line up the decimals at all. Just regularly multiplying six times one is six. We count up the decimal places. We have one, two, three. So we're gonna move the decimal from the far right side on the six three times over. One, two, three. Put my decimal, which means you're going to need two zeros to the right of the decimal, then a six. So six thousandths. And sometimes I think if you can imagine that these are fractions and what it looks like, ten, in the denominator, you're going to have a 10 times 10 times 10. So your final answer should be in the thousandths spot. When we are dividing with decimal numbers, you want to be sure and always write like, this. In other words, with the division box. Okay, you want to use a division box. So here's an example. If we wanted to do 14 and 4 tenths divided by 6, we have to remember that the first number is the dividend and that goes inside the box. So we write our division box, we'll put 14 and 4 tenths, and then we're going to divide by 6, so 6 goes by the box. We're dividing by 6, so it has to go by the box. When we are dividing, before we begin, if you see a decimal, immediately just bring it straight up. And this is why in long division we've always told you to line up all of your numbers you divide, subtract, bring down, divide again. And you've got to keep everything lined up. So 6 doesn't go into the first number. 6 goes into 14 twice. So 2 times 6 is 12. Then we subtract, get a 2, bring down. Now we divide again. 6 goes into 24 four times. And that 4 goes above the one that you just brought down. So the answer would be... 2 and 4 tenths. So that's the end of the lesson.